Okay, thank you for coming back, Lizzie. Um, today, I just wanted to discuss leaky gut syndrome. Um, to me, it suggests that the gut's leaking. Is it leaking outwards or inwards? Is you know what is leaky gut syndrome? As you say, it's a term that's sort of thrown around quite loosely. Um, ultimately, our guts are sort of meant to be fairly watertight pipe. Mm -hmm. um, leaky gut ultimately means that it's less watertight than we wanted it to be. It's become porous. Okay. In short, it allows for things that are not meant to go out and things that are not meant to come in to happen. So we're trying to restore it to okay. prevent things exiting that aren't yeah. meant to exit. Yeah. So literally, things, good things can exit through a, a leaky gut and bad things can enter through a leaky gut. Yeah. Okay. So. What causes this leaky gut? Uh, how do we get this? Ultimately, um, as I said, the sort of lining of the gut is meant to be fairly watertight. And over time, if you have excess kind of inflammation within the gut itself, and inflammation coming from external factors like chemicals or heavy metals or whatever, um, this gut lining the junctions between it open up and it becomes more leaky as such. So it's the inflammation ultimately coming externally and internally that wears away at the gut wall. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's, that's very helpful. So essentially, things we put into our gut can potentially erode this wall. Uh, toxins, environmental issues, the food we eat. Um, can stress affect it? Yeah, so stress in itself is affects the gut immediately. So there's a, what we call the gut-brain um, axis, yeah. and it's a con genuine connection between the, the brain and the gut. And so when you're creating stress, so you have stress on your mind, it uh, sends sig send signals down to the gut, and it, in, in, in the same way that chemicals and toxins, it creates inflammation, disrupts the microbiome, and by default then has that kind of negative effect on the wall, causing leaky gut. Interesting. Well, that's fascinating because um, we talk about the brain adrenal axis in fight or flight, but clearly there's a gut brain axis too. So, Absolutely, yeah. So this inflammation, I guess, in some ways, um, is the gut trying to protect itself because short-term inflammation is supposed to be okay, but if it's ongoing, it becomes erosive. Interesting. Yeah. That's fascinating. So now we know that leaky gut syndrome occurs, how can we fix it? Lots of ways. So obviously we need to think about and address our lifestyles. As a patient, that's what you kind of need to do. Obviously as a clinician, we can guide you um, to talk about stress and how you can mitigate it and how you can improve your sleep and the environmental factors. Okay. Um, but from our perspective, we work on diet, we work on lifestyles, so we try and reduce the chemical exposures, we try to improve the diet to enrich the microbiome, to allow it to reduce inflammation um, and then by default improve that gut wall lining. Okay, okay. And something else that um, we've been using here at Levitas is peptides and collagen. So mm. we use something called Totally Derma and the data shows that within three months of taking this it helps support or build the scaffolding of the gut lining. But I guess on its own it's not enough. We have to get rid of the root cause which is inflammation. Exactly, yeah. And how about fasting? Does fasting support the reduction of inflammation in the gut and therefore improve leaky gut syndrome? Yes, so fasting ultimately allows the gut a moment to reset, that gives it sense. time to um, repopulate its good bacteria, yes. and it gives them time to thrive. It also helps remove the debris um, that has built up over time through proteins and etc. Yes. Autophagy yeah. is a word that a lot of people will yeah. know a little bit about yeah. and fasting has a huge yeah. um, positive impact there. So we use a lot of um, autophagy principles for getting rid of glycogen and protein debris in all your cells so essentially the same principles apply to the gut. Definitely. Excellent. Yeah. Good well that's definitely something worth considering. There was a paper published by a paediatric gastroenterologist uh, who suggested that all autoimmune disease is due to leaky gut. Mm. And he was talking about things exactly as you said, coming in, creating inflammatory reactions within the body, not just in the gut, that leads to these autoimmune diseases. And perhaps we should be paying a lot more attention to our autoimmune patients to maybe go back to root cause analysis. Absolutely. Yeah. Is it reversible? Definitely. So what we know is ultimately, as you said, with autoimmune diseases, the body 
is seeing what's meant to be in the gut on the outside and it targets it and it creates inflammation and it's autoimmune. However, we know that by intervening, one, sorting the actual microbiome out by supporting their good bacteria and also, as you said, implementing collagen, peptides to restore the gut wall, we stop it being leaky anymore. In making it more watertight, the things that are meant to stay in the gut stay there and so the body is less responsive yeah. from an immune perspective. Yes. Fascinating. Um, yeah. Well, that's excellent. Again, very hopeful. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Pleasure.